Hi, I'm Elaine Jarvik, and I co-wrote A Man Enters. And I am Kate Jarvik Birch, and I am the other co-playwright. A Man Enters began as Kate's personal fantasies, what it would be like to run into her father, who has been absent from her life for more than 20 years. And it also began as sort of a mystery. Why did this man stay away so long? Sometimes I fantasize that we're all in Paris, <laughs> and we run into him at a sidewalk cafe. He's sitting there licking an ice cream, the way he used to lick all the way around our cones. Remember? Cone maintenance. Yeah. And we walk up, us and our kids, and you and Dana and your kids, and he looks up, and there we are. And then a year ago, when he did not come to Salt Lake for his mother's 95th birthday, we began to explore that event, or non-event, as a possible play. And then we made a lot of stuff up. I think you would like my husband. Is he perfect? He's smarter than you. <laughs> I doubt it. Okay, in the following series, what comes next? Six, three, uh, uh, You said English, not math. You said Nobel Prize. Tush. Six, three, twenty-seven, fifty-five. Nineteen. And... Uh, uh, Seventeen... And a half. You're just guessing. I'd like another problem, please. Okay. A man walks into a bar. He's in his 60s. That is a joke, not a problem. He has two children whom he hasn't seen in 20 years. That is a situation, not a problem. Hasn't seen in 20 years. And I want an apology. Our initial desire to see our own fantasies acted out wasn't enough to carry this play to the finish. After a while, we had to let go of our own longings and our own eccentricities and figure out what was best for these characters in the play. Real life was a perfect jumping off point for our play, but once we realized that we could let go of reality, our play really started to come to life. I love you called me Peter. Why are you? What's with the getup? Hmm. You tell me. I don't know, because you're uh, dead. Not exactly dead. Undead? Dead, but not dead. Listen, can I take these off? They're very uncomfortable. <sighs> so, how do I look? Silly. You want me to look silly? I, I don't know. You know, we look a lot alike. No, we don't. Yeah, around the mouth, many of the same gestures, we stand the same way. We're not anything alike. We ultimately had to create characters and situations that were sort of like us and sort of like our real lives, but in many important ways were not. Our story is particular and personal, but we hope that the themes are universal, the themes of loss and longing, and what are the rules of marriage anyway? Will you stop it? You're just as crazy as you used to be. Ah! What? You just admitted we used to be married. No, I didn't. And we didn't have any rules. Oh, yes, we did. We, yes, and the rule was Peter was the capable one and Terry was the incapable one. Those were your rules. Your other rules were, oh, Terry should spend more time with her children than with her husband. That's and Terry doesn't like the way that Peter chooses cereal. And Terry's just... You're the one who had the affair. You're the one who wanted to have an affair. I did not have an affair. I said wanted to. We hope that A Man Enters is more than just one family's story. Something interesting happens when you get a group of people in the same room watching a scene unfold, when they bring their own personal tragedy and humor to what they're watching. The Salt Lake Acting Company presents the world premiere of A Man Enters by Elaine Jarvik and Kate Jarvik Birch. November 2nd through December 11th, this semi-autobiographical and wildly whimsical A Man Enters is an odyssey about love and family. For tickets, call 801-363-7522 or visit our website, saltlakeactingcompany.org.